Hey guys, it's Marianne Lambert with the STEM Academy. Just a quick reminder of how we use PowerSchool and PowerTeacher Pro. You can go to sccpss.com, click on employees, and it should automatically take you to the new employee page. You will see a lot of useful links there. You can go down and click on PowerTeacher and log in with your username and password. This is PowerSchool, so this is how we take attendance. You can notice I've already taken attendance in a lot of my classes, and it'll light up green. If you go to the chair, you click on it. You can then mark your students here present. If they're present, you do not have to click anything to mark them present. If they're absent, you will click in the little white box and do a drop down. A is absent, B is an unexcused tardy. These are students that come late to class. A lot of them will come in the mornings, will bring you a tardy slip, and other ones you can mark tardy. Don't forget to check the school rules on tardies. Once you are done, hit submit, and your attendance has been submitted. The other buttons on PowerSchool include this book pack button, which allows you to look for a student's schedule under quick lookup, and it allows you to look at their current grades in class so you can have discussions with them about growth and progress. There's also a section in the book bag called demographics so you can look at parent contact information, address, phone number, email. If you need to print a report for a specific class, you can go to the printer. It's a very limited amount of options in the printer, but if you go to PowerTeacher Pro, that will be your online gradebook. By clicking on PowerTeacher Pro, it should bring you to a home screen that looks something like this. To create your assignments, make sure you're in the class that you want to create an assignment for. You can go to Create, and you can choose an assignment. And from there, you're able to name the assignment, select the category, points, the date, if you want to write it in a description, or put in the standards that the assignment meets. You can do this for all of your students, or if you would like to select just a few, say you had a choice board and you have different projects, you can go to students and just select those students that were issued the assignment so it's private only to them. You can go to publish and choose to publish that assignment immediately. This is when parents can see it on the parent portal, or you can choose to publish it on a specific date. Say you don't have an assignment coming out for a few months, but you want, you're thinking about it and want to go ahead and put it in your gradebook, you can do that. You save and close, and your assignment is saved and closed. To print a student report, you're going to go to Reports. You can choose to print an individual student report, so that's on one student. Or you can do a score sheet, which is like seeing your printed gradebook. Or you can do a student roster to see who's in your class, and you can also use this to print out and write grades on or other information. If you go to Student Roster, you can put a title on it. You can pick which classes you'd like to pick. Remember, S1 means semester one, S2 means second semester. So a semester is August until December and January until May. 17, 18 means the entire school year. Q1 is first nine weeks, Q2 is second nine weeks and so forth. So you can print your rosters for the entire year or just for this nine weeks. Pick which class you'd like to print. You can organize your students by birthday or last name or first name, whatever you'd like to do. And you can name the columns or add more columns to the report and put them in different order. Once you're ready, run your report and it will most likely download as a file, as a PDF file that you will either automatically open or you can open on your computer. You can also save that file to your Google Drive so that you always have access to it if you're traveling or out of the school. If you have any questions, please feel free to stop by the film lab or email me at mary.rogers at sccpss.com. Have a great day, everyone.